Welcome to Aprons Off, the show where we don't really cook, but we hang out with each other. So this is our first ever mukbang on the Mythical Kitchen channel. Woo! Mukbang! I'm gonna bang it so hard. <laughs> and we're gonna be trying Nigerian food. Now, raise your hand if you've ever tried Nigerian food. I've never tried I'm gonna food. do like the half hand, like no. the like, I like that more, no question, more of a comment. No, I've had a little bit of Nigerian food. Cool. I've had fufu and pepper soup. Okay. Uh, and jollof, of course. Cool. But not a lot of this, which excites me because nice. eating food that I've never had before is like, that's like a hobby, right? Like that's a sure. hobby of mine. Sure, 100%. Yeah. We all have that hobby together. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever tried Nigerian food before? I have not. This is my first time and I'm really excited to try it with you guys. Yeah, didn't you right date, on. Didn't you date a Nigerian dude? Open you know, we don't talk about our Open exes. Only you do. I love talking about my ex. <laughs> okay. We'll talk about all our exes. I, I just name them. There was, yeah. Har there was Harvard love. guy, yeah. there was old guy, there was Catholic guy. I don't remember True. all Nicole's exes. Irish Catholic guy? Be yeah. specific. We can um, talk about Burner Boy, though. <laughs> Hi, Burner Boy. Love Burner Boy. So we're all going to try different kinds of malt soda just oh, to wow. start our palates off. And then we're also going to try some palm juice. I heard somewhere that this Ooh. may or may not be alcoholic, so bottoms up. Get a little These aren't though. These are not alcoholic. They are just, they are made from barley, you Thank know, you. they are malt soda. For the YouTube algorithm's sake, none of this is alcoholic. No. no. All right, cheers. All right. So Palm, is, uh, how much do you know about Nigerian food? Um, I kind of did a little bit of research. I don't know much. Yum. That's got that wow. kind of kombucha funk to it. It sure does, but I'm it's in. like a this is delicious. lemonade not as like acidic. It's lemonade, palm juice, Ugh. I mean like palm wow. sugar. I it's really phenomenal. like that. Top palm juice. What's that Shake at the bottom? serving, man. It's like That's a cloudy a good, good. palm juice. <laughs> oh, it's a malt. Yeah, apparently at the restaurant, uh, the lady who was giving us very good service told us that these are the three most popular drinks in Nigeria, the three most popular malts. Oh Heck my yeah, we got God. all the food from uh, Aduke in Inglewood right next to the original okay. Randy's this Donuts, so shout out Aduke. Man, wait, I haven't had it yet. Yeah, Why did I pour it in? This is so good. <laughs> wow, it's this like is, a fun root beer. This oh. is delicious. That's what I've been missing out on? That's what the malt drinks Can are? Can we get like a whole pack Bro. of these every week in our refrigerator? We're stocking this in the office, dude. <laughs> Shout out to Malta. Oh, I have a confession That's to a make. Winner. What's that? When my sister was uh, breastfeeding her first child, she had a bunch of malt sodas, and I was like, "That looks so good," and I tried it, and I drank like four of them in one sitting. Hold on, I know. So I know a lot about women. That's the thing that we can all agree. When you're breastfeeding, you need a lot of iron, and there's probably a lot of iron in malt sodas. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Okay. Right? I don't know. I'm not I'm a freaking scientist. I don't know. <laughs> all right. So what we have in our hands are fufu. Heck fufu. Yeah. Now this fufu is made from pounded yam. And you kind of, it's called a swallow. So a swallow is where okay. you pick it up to eat all the other stews and soups alongside with it. So it's like the bread that you dip. It is the bread it's you like dip, that. yes. And then this is this Ooh, is like another this. version. This is called amala. This is made from dried cassava, plantain, or yam. Mm. And this is has a very deep wow. nutty flavor that works really well specifically with this stew, which we will try in a little bit. All of the best food cultures, they mm. eat this way. You take something yeah. that's starchy and you sort of like pound it out inside your fingers and then you eat just a delicious mm -hmm. red stew filled with chilies and spices. I wanna go into the red stew right here. Okay, mm -hmm. let's, okay let's do it. Let's that red palm one. oil on top is delicious. So this is literally called red stew. Oh, okay. <laughs> this one has beef in it and it's filled with lots of peppers. Oh, I spilled oh some. Oh my gosh. Hell lots yes. of oil, lots of red pepper, lots of tomato. I know we just started, but like, mm. this makes me love you guys. I'm just having a good time. This is the best, this man. This is the this best. Is, this is phenomenal. I'm just eating all over wow. the table, man. I don't it's care okay. anymore. It's okay. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It's so spicy. But it's very oh. flavorful, and it feels like it has a lot of garlic essence, and that's what I love. Yeah. So food that has like oil floating on the top, some people might look at it and go like, that's greasy. No. But, but, but. No. Oil separating in food in some cultures, like I'm thinking a lot of South Asian foods, a lot of Indian curries and whatnot. Mm -hmm. oh, you know it's done when the oil <laughs> separates from the aromatics. Cause no one would ever look at like a French bre blanc or like a bernaise and be like, that's greasy. Even though all it is is pure butter, baby, that's pure fat. So like this, you look at it, it's not necessarily that it's like greasy, fatty, whatever. I have just flavor right there. Yeah, so grease is good. But yeah, dude, grease, grease is, is good. good. Yeah, then it gives you energy. Dude, that's, that's always fun. <laughs> grease gives you the energy to do other things. Mm. Why do you think they named the movie that? <laughs> <laughs> what movie? Grease! Never, never heard of it. Let's try this one here. Okay, this is okay. called Agusi. Mm -hmm. I have a little note card that's gonna tell me about Agusi. I, I dip in there dip too. In. Ground yeah. melon seed soup with Wait. leafy greens, an iconic Nigerian dish. I'm using my fingers, do you guys care? Mm. Of course care. we don't care. Yo. Nope. So, I when, so when I think I of Nigerian it. food specifically, I always think of fufu and agusi. Mm -hmm. That is okay. just 
Dude, that That's is phenomenal. so good, oh man. God. That <laughs> is spicy. That is fragrant. Yeah. They, God bless. This wow. reminds me of like my favorite things about Indian food, right? Yeah. You mm. taste the spices that are like bloomed. Mm -hmm. If you smell your fingers though, you can like smell, is that like a fish sauce? I think what they take is like a crayfish powder. Mm, hell yeah. And they use that crayfish powder to season a lot of chicken. their foods. The chicken's very, very Here's well cooked. What kind of meat is this? Besides the chicken, is it just ground chicken? Like so, that's the ground white mel melon seed. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. okay, a goosey. They'll call it like bitter melon. It's not the same thing as like it's like an East Asian bitter melon mm -hmm. though. Yeah, and they like boil and grind the melon seeds, and it gives mm. it this like lovely texture. Wow, <sighs> flavors I've never had before, and that is so exciting. It just feels like I'm at my auntie's house, and I'm just having a good time. <laughs> my auntie is from Senegal. Uh -huh. yeah. And so Senegal is like, you know, a West African country, culturally somewhat similar to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Both have like French sort of colonial influence and whatnot. The food's really different though, but they cook with a lot of the same ingredients. So right. that ground crawfish powder uh -huh. and like a lot of her food. Wait, real quick, can we open one of yeah, these? Yeah, yeah I feel course. like we need to have the same experience with this. Mm. Yeah. Wait, my hands are I got I'm it. Doing obsessed things. with the agusi, man. I got it. That's I can't believe I've never really had this good. before. Mm. Now, what is this one made out of, Nicole? So this is made out of a combination or only. Oh, Pounded yam, wow. cassava, or plantain. And this Ooh. has a softer texture because it's it's like mm -hmm. a powder mixed with water. Mm -hmm. But you still pound the ever living crap out of it oh, to man. get. It reminds me so much of like masa. Specifically, oh. this I, I was I was reading some blogs and they said that this is very good with ogbono soup. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can see this, but do you see this incredible the texture? texture? Wow. So this like beautiful slimy texture is actually very well revered in African countries. That's really and cool. And this is achieved by Mango seeds, wild mango seeds. Get the heck out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Oh my God, that's but incredible. It reminds that me of a like soup. Hearty. That'll punch you in the so face. That, so that texture oh. right there, that some, some people would call slimy, right? But like, yeah. I like you just gotta open your mind. It's not slimy in a bad way. Mm -mm, I no. love slime, I love a good goo. So uh, gumbo, right? Sure. Yeah. In America, it's made with okra. Uh, and mm -hmm. then sometimes you'll have like filet okra. powder in it to thicken filet it. Filet powder. But, super but, slimy but okra. Okra's super slimy. Gumbo is actually a Swahili word meaning okra. And so when people oh. talk like okra gumbo, that's like saying chai tea right? or like ATM machine. I didn't you know, what know I mean? that. Flavor on it's great. The texture is Get beautiful. some of the meat, Josh. What? You, oh, now um, you got it in there. Sorry, dude. This is the best day at work ever. <laughs> I love this. Where are we going next? Yeah, so this is called eforiro, which means different kinds of spinach in Nigerian. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. And my card says, let me just pull this out right here. Look Mixed that. spinach in Nigerian. Western Nigerian dish with lots of green leafy veggies. Give me your fork. Hell yeah. Well, oh, you're just going to take the whole thing. Never mind. Oh, I was going to oh, take the whole fish. Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna like do one of these actions. Yeah, and this one has fish, but you can get it with pretty much any sort of protein you want, which is super Ow. cool, which I love about this place. So pretty. That's... Mm. This reminds Excellent. me a lot of um, food in the Bahamas, actually, because oh, yeah. it was just like a platter of just greens, mm -hmm. and then they would just throw like a whole fish on top. Oh my god. And goodness. sometimes it'd be perch, sometimes it'd be snapper, but wow, this threw me back to vacation time. <laughs> now I want to go back. I'm just being gross with this, and I'm not going to apologize, and I'm having the time I'm of my life. Muck beans? Not, not hating on you at all. Okay, I'm just going to go in for this go mm. pepper soup. Nothing to me is going to be that goosey, though, man. I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fingers. I need gold. Oh my god. Is it yeah. spicy? Yes. That's really spicy. All that. Oh my God. Right. I'm transforming. Right, <laughs> <laughs> Holy Yo. God. Oh, that's the good stuff right but there. But it's like a good spicy. That's I might good. cry in like three seconds. Holy uh, cannoli. Wow. Bro, let me grab some of this goat. The goat meat is very good. Goat to me, number one animal to eat. Number two, really? alpaca. Number three, wolf. You've never eaten an alpaca. You've never eaten a wolf. <laughs> yeah, I have. No, I wolf love goat. Wolf might be good though. Werewolf or a regular wolf? <laughs> what? Are werewolves real? Oh. Well, here's the thing. If you eat a werewolf as it transformed to a wolf, technically it's not cannibalism, right? Wait, are werewolves? Wait, that's real a solid question. Yeah. Can someone answer that? Can for you get charged for murder? They might be real, but we don't know. There's a lot of stuff the government don't want you to know. Just you know. Loch Ness monster, that's real. UFO. Atlantis is real. Loch Ness monster owes me three fifty. Three hundred and fifty dollars or three dollars and fifty cents. It's actually pounds. He's oh. in uh, Scotland. Oh. Who's the homie? <laughs> Who's, the <laughs> <guy> <laughs> Who's the homie that lives in the snow? Uh, the Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the homie. Josh met a Yeti. He's real. I just thought you. I thought you met your friend who lives in Alaska. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, she lives in Paris. I don't know. Wow. Oh, that was her. I talked to her. At, what's this up? This morning. I talked to you on FaceTime Brianna, today. what's up? I'm going to eat some jollof rice. I really like that, even though it burns my face. Wow. It, it ruined my palate, though. It, like, yeah. it like blew out my palate. Is it uh, a goat T-bone? Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. So oh, funny. my gosh. Can I just drink from the bowl? Yeah, go ahead. Live your truth. You. We're going to scoot you. this one over because this rice has been calling my name since we sat down. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Are you giggling? You, yeah, he did giggle. I haven't seen Josh like express that emotion. I haven't. Either. I haven't had just getting that big slurp. I haven't experienced that much joy so from a bite of food in like a long time. Because it's not just spicy. It's so 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 fragrant. Like, mm -hmm. and there's a ton of spices that like I'm not used to, which is freaking awesome and exciting. Again, one of the things I love about food. Just experiencing new sensations is god dang it, Goosey is like the best thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> Try the jollof Something rice. has been awakening okay, in us. I'm gonna it's have gonna be the rice. Uh huh. Mm. Oh, my note card says rice cooked with puree tomato and scotch bonnet. No two jollofs are alike. Next snowflakes. <laughs> oh, how are good. Wow. Man. That's smoky. Mmm, <laughs> that's <yeah>, good. <laughs> taste there. What the hell have I never had this before? <laughs> Josh, this the best pay thing. attention rice. to the rice. Rice yeah, is carbs, it. man. I don't need the carbs right now. I need a goosey. That's I'm power. I'm gonna eat some goat. People are gonna hate the way I eat right now. I don't oh, think I closed damn. my mouth chewing once. If the way I chew bothers you, don't comment. Guys, name your favorite Nigerian track and field athletes on three. One, two, Divine Oduduru. Bull? No, he's Jamaican. God dang it. <laughs> Burner boy. We well, probably play sports Isn't when you're young. Is Burner Boy Nigerian? He is. Yeah. Nigerian. He's the biggest Nigerian global superstar. superstar. Uh, also, Datu no Gendeji, my former teammate at UCLA, throws for the Nigerian national team, man. What up? Also, <laughs> shout out almost every Kappa member. Shout out to that guy on 90 Day Fiance that married Angela. What were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy. Right. Is he Nigerian? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Angela. You know, Angela. 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 Angela got a group back? No, that's Stella. <laughs> But Angela Bassett in Angela that? Bassett and Angela Stella. Angela and Stella. There no. we go. We're getting it. We're good. Look should at us. Eat a culture. Meat pie or should we throw? <laughs> yeah, okay. What is food? What's this, Nicole? I'm going to just goat. keep asking you. That's oh. goat meat. Oh, God. I can't eat mm. this. Is barbecue goat? Mm hmm. I can't so, eat it. Speaking of the texture of meat, there's a Nigerian dude. This is a fun story well, that like great. shows the diversity of what people enjoy in food. There's a Nigerian dude who's doing a whole goat barbecue over in Van Nuys, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A bunch of like white That's people skin. came and ate his goat, and they were like, hey, this is tough. And then Nigerian people came and they ate it and they loved it. And so he's like, cool, I'll cook it longer, lower and slower and make it more tender. Uh -huh. White people came and they ate it and they're like, this meat's great, it's so tender. Nigerian people were like, why can't I chew this meat? Like, it's just falling apart. What's yeah. the point? It's meat, it's meant to be chewed. That's true. So he's kind of caught in this weird place. Like some people, having tender, tender meat is not the end all be all for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I can't so, chew through this. You gotta chew this goat. Is it rude to suck your fingers? It depends. If you have somebody else do it, it's not. We've probably violated a lot of like Nigerian etiquette. Sorry. My bad. I'm just vibing. I'm having a good time. Get me a patty. Oh yeah, dude. Patty. Are these called patties in, in Nigeria? No, no they're <laughs> called meat pies. I ate they're from that pies. one. I, I yeah. ate from that I one. I, I, I ate from that one. Uh, is there like a mm. culture? Is like, does it matter what hand you eat with? Because I know oh. in India, it matters what hand you eat with. So I, I think in, in Islam, right? It's like yeah. you don't eat with your left hand. I know Nigeria has a big Islamic population. Yeah, I've been doing a little bit of both. I'm sorry, I'm a lefty. Wait, and I, why is that a thing? You use your left hand for other things. Yeah, yeah it's basically like, a, well, is it? does it come from use your left hand to like, not like that, not like that. No, another. Wait. Do you sing it? Is it goes to break the one that makes you go like, or the one that makes you go, like, makes you go like, or the one that makes you go? <laughs> uh, I think more the second, but sometimes the first happens. <laughs> no, no, you're no, supposed to use your left hand so when people come up to you, you can shake it with your right hand. Like, you're like this. Mm, you pass. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, damn. We're ignorant and I'm sorry. This is an incredible, incredible oh. meal. What are your favorites? What are your favorites? List them um, out. Red stew. Oh. Red stew. I haven't had that in a while. Wait. I'm going back. <laughs> Top two, not one. What about you, Josh? What's your favorite? Dude, you, oh, that a goosey, man. That a goosey awoke something in me. I love the red stew. Um, is this the, the Ogbono? Yes. The mm -hmm. texture on that, I'm not I gonna lie. I love that texture. A little challenging for me, it's not my thing. Really? Um, I'm I understand, I would love to love it. Um, it's a little bit like natto. I love mm. it. Jollof's fantastic too. The, the fish is good, was. pepper soup, wow. A goosey, man, I'm in That's love, slimy. in love. I can't wait to do this again with you guys. Oh! And the bell! Oh, no, that was Is the bell! Is that game over? You know what that means. <laughs> Time to answer some advice. Oh, okay. Put 30 seconds on the clock for each of us. We're going to answer Waifu Lele's statement. If I over-season a dish with salt, can I recover the dish or do I gotta yeet it into the trash? Josh, 30 seconds, go. Never yeet food into the trash. You can always save it depending on what your standards are for what you put in your mouth. As you can see, I have none. What you do, no matter what you over-season, dump a quart of water in it, turn it into soup. Add potatoes to it, that soaks up salt. Add beans to it, add rice, add anything. But for real, I've oversalted food, turned it right into a soup. Great little hack, and then you get soup. 
Nicole, 30 seconds. All right. Um, no, you do not need to eat anything if you just, well, sometimes whenever you put like too much spicy food, sometimes you might have to eat it, but salt, just add like a little bit of sugar, a little bit of lemon juice, and it'll like totally eradicate it. And if, if that doesn't work, then you're screwed, waifu lele. Sorry. If you oversalt your food, <laughs> give it to the saltiest mother effort in the room <laughs> and have them eat it. You're welcome. That's smart. Thanks so much for watching. Put your question in the comments below. We'll see you next time. You can never have too many daddies and we can't get enough of the Hello Daddies teas. Shop now at mythical.com.